As I travel all through the world in search of the most authentic of ingredients, I come across little places where they are the most unassuming human beings and they have these flavors with them that have been handed down from generation to generation. I love interacting and creating a twist with own cuisine and bringing it to each one of you. Let's explore together. Good evening and welcome to another episode of Home Cuisine. We're going to be making a delightful corn and mushroom bisque. It's super easy, just corn and crimini, and very easily spiced so kids would love it. So we're going to be putting in some coconut oil and to that some red onions. And to the red onions I'm going to be adding a teaspoon and a half of garlic a pinch of onion powder. That's it. I'm going to allow that to brown up a little bit. And then I'm going to be adding in some black pepper powder. And salt. The timing is everything in all these dishes. I'm putting in the crimini mushrooms. The soup with these flavors, since it's so simply flavored, can work well with almost any type of mushroom. But I particularly like the crimini and I also like the taste of maitake mushrooms in this dish. So in case you don't have crimini, you can always use maitake. So to this I'm going to be adding in some corn. Smells fabulous. Some, the green part of the green onions and I'm going to save a little bit of this for the garnish later. I'm going to put in some water. So I'm going to give that about three to five minutes. Meanwhile, I'm just going to clean up all of this. Okay. okay, I'm going to put some of this to puree right in there and allow the rest of it to steam through. hearty thick soup. Beautiful. I like the little pieces of the corn and the mushroom floating around. I'm going to add some coconut milk. Beautiful. And then I'm going to add a little bit of coconut oil to put all the flavors together and some cilantro. So this is a very kid-friendly soup, so it tastes very flavorful and it's very simple. It's not got too much complication and very simple ingredients, right? So beautiful. So I'm going to plate up in just a minute. So this is a beautiful way that I like to 
plate this fabulous bisque. So first what I'm going to do is add some vegan pesto to the base. So there is an element of surprise. And then I'm going to pour over the actual bisque. Now after the bisque is done, what I like to do is take a little bit of the mushroom and the corn right there so that, you know, it looks like a work of art. Beautiful. And I'm going to be putting in some green onions in this corner and a little bit of the basil atop like so. Now, since there is not too much of a balance there, I want to take some coconut milk or coconut cream and add it right there in the center. So there you have it, a beautiful bisque. As if you're dining at a little Mmm, mmm, yummy, yummy in place in the French countryside or in a high-end Michelin restaurant. Until we meet again in another episode of Home Cuisine while we explore flavors of the world. This is Vida Priyanka.